Okay, we're standing right now in uh, what is kind of uh, an aviation enigma. This is Manzanar Airport. Very little information about Manzanar Airport exists. Uh, what you're looking at now is a foundation for what once was a hangar and a couple of uh, outbuildings or office buildings. And we're standing on the main parking ramp. Um, I don't know what these markings are. They're fairly fresh, fairly new, so I'm sure they're, they're post-war. Uh, as you can see, look at that, June 26, 1942 is when uh, this was scrawled in this concrete. The concrete looks rather aged, so it could have been airfield is very unusual. Almost no parking space, but two intersecting 8,000 foot runways and a parallel taxiway at what is uh, supposedly or uh, what meets the eye as a little country airport. And uh, we're going to uh, drive over camera's pointed at right now. You're also looking at the Inyo Mountains. And I will give you a, a look at that. Kind of hard to hold the camera and put on a seatbelt. But anyway. We're crossing the one of the parallel taxiways right here. Still has markings on it, as you can see. Continues all around the taxiway out to the main runway, and there's the parallel taxiway, the Alabama Hills in the background. And where we're going right now is the uh, close to the runway intersection. And we'll give you a look at that. As you can see, it's X'd off. However, this airfield is, is still in use. If not by uh, aircraft, it's uh, in use as a drag strip periodically and as a uh, backdrop for uh, movies and so forth. Uh, I'll take you on top of the truck so you can get a good, enough, good look at it here. But we're uh, standing on the runway intersection. Now we're standing on the truck. And as you can see, with the Sierra in the background, we're at the intersection of two runways, clearly X'd off, even though that's fading. The aircraft is. Uh, Last time I looked was on the, uh, I believe the San Francisco sectional chart as an abandoned airfield. But uh, it's very visible from the air. And uh, anyway, it's pretty much a 360 back to Mount Williamson there of uh, Manzanar Airfield at the runway intersection. In fact, looking this direction, you can't tell very well, but straight ahead there, those bushes, uh, we're actually looking at another runway. Uh, one of the intersecting runway, you can see the uh, X is nearly uh, nearly covered over by the bushes, but it's right there in uh, center foreground, just slightly above uh, the middle of the picture. And these runways not only could accommodate the heaviest and fastest aircraft of the 1940s, they could probably accommodate most military aircraft today. Of course, obviously not a not a C5, but uh, you could probably, if the runway was strong enough, you could most certainly put a C-130 or just about uh, any uh, military aircraft in here today. So what uh, what is a little country airport is kind of mysterious. You don't know what it's about. But anyway, if you'd like to learn more about it, there's a website you can go to. Uh, just do a, a search for abandoned and little known airfields. That's, it's called abandoned and little-known airfields. Just uh, do a search there 
and uh, click on uh, the appropriate uh, links that get you to Manzanar, Manzanar Airport, and uh, you'll learn a lot more.